Hi and welcome back to another Tech Minds video. So I recently come across this neat little solution for running ham clock in the shack with near enough zero setup. Now this is the Quadra ham clock bundle with mini keyboard. Now ham clock along with other ham radio applications are pre-installed. So once it's up and running, you only need to enter your Wi-Fi details for the internet connection and then just enter your call sign and locator for location data to be displayed. You get a few things in this bundle, an HDMI cable, a USB power cable, a USB powered fan, a 3D printed stand, which you just need to clip together, a USB hub, and of course the Innovato Quadra mini computer. Now this Quadra mini computer runs a quad core 1.7 gigahertz ARM processor with two gigabytes of DRAM and 16 gigabytes of eMMC internal storage. The first thing we need to do is assemble the little 3D printed stand. Now it's fairly easy to do, but just remember to trim the little plastic lugs, but be careful not to cut off the plastic lugs, which are used to connect both end pieces into that fan support. Now once attached together, you can just drop that little USB fan into place and then slide the Quadra into place like this over the fan. Now the fan is there to provide extra cooling for that Quadra because I would imagine that most people will leave this on all the time. Then you just need to install the USB hub and then connect the fan to one of the USB ports on that hub. The USB hub can then be plugged into the front USB port on the Quadra. Now attach the USB power lead, but don't plug it in just yet. Now you can use an adapter like a mobile phone adapter to power the Quadra as long as it can cope with at least two amps. Next, we'll unbox the supplied mini keyboard. Now first take off the battery compartment flap and then remove the dongle. You'll need a couple of AAA batteries to power this mini keyboard. Now take the USB dongle, plug it into the USB hub that's plugged into the Quadra. You now need to attach a monitor using the supplied HDMI cable, but once connected, plug the Quadra power lead into a power source and then the Quadra will start to boot up like this. Now once booted, you can use the mini keyboard to control the Quadra. Now there's a little trackpad in the middle at the top which controls the mouse pointer. To get the Quadra connected to the internet, click the little network icon on the top right and then just select your Wi-Fi connection along with entering the correct credentials. Now in the middle of the screen, you can see this dialog which is asking you to start ham clock. Now once started, you just enter your call sign and then you can either enter your latitude and longitude or you can use IP geolocate and you do have the option to enter your maidenhead locator as well. Now an update procedure will most likely run, but once finished, you'll be presented with the ham clock screen. Now this video isn't really a tutorial on ham clock itself, but one of the best features is the map feature where you can see live where the sun is and where it's dark meaning you can gauge when your location is about to enter the gray line. And we all know from working on HF, the gray line can be quite profitable. Now, once you have ham clock set up and running on your network, you no longer need to use a monitor connected to the Quadra. And that's because you can view ham clock from any web browser, which is on a computer on the same network as the Quadra. Of course, you can use a monitor if you want to, but it's pretty cool that the main screen is accessible from another computer on the same network, just using a web browser. You just need to type in this kind of URL. Now the creators of Quadra Bundle have also included some popular ham radio applications. So if you press Alt F11 on the keyboard, ham clock will be minimized and you'll be able to access the desktop. From the application menu under ham radio, you'll find a list of popular ham radio applications which include FL Rig, FL Digi, JS8 Call, WSJTX, and Pat Winlink. Of course, to use this, you will need to connect the Quadra to a compatible radio, but it's nice to see these options available. So you may be wondering why would anyone want to purchase this product when Hamclock itself is free? Well, in order to run Hamclock, most people, I guess, would use something like a Raspberry Pi, which you would then need to purchase a case a power supply, a keypad, an SD card, and then a certain amount of your own time installing an operating system and then getting ham clock installed and running. Now with this Quadra ham clock bundle, it comes delivered with everything set up. 
you literally just need to add a monitor for the initial configuration. Now, like anything in this world, we have choices and some people choose to purchase products to make life easier. So whatever your thoughts are on this bundle, someone somewhere will appreciate the efforts that's gone into providing a product to provide a solution to a problem. For those of you that have the technical skills and the components already, then go ahead. Hamclock is free to download and install. If you need something that's an off the shelf solution, i.e. a black box solution, then take a look at this. Now, if you're in the UK, you can purchase this directly from Moonraker. They stock these, so there's no waiting for them to be delivered. If you're outside of the UK and you want to check it out, then you need to look at the Innovato website for ordering information. Now, I actually have a spare monitor, so I'm going to be setting up a spare monitor in my shack and I'm going to have it above my main screen so that I can keep an eye on everything that's going on in the world of ham radio just at a glance above. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think about this product and if you've got one yourself or if you use ham clock. Now, like I said earlier, this wasn't really a ham clock tutorial. So if there's something cool or specific that you like that ham clock does, let me know as well in the comments below. Until the next video, stay safe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.